And welcome to the Heart Women's Basketball Media Day. Uh, we're excited to hear from the Missouri Valley College Vikings. Uh, let's start off with introductions. Um, Brecken, go ahead and introduce yourself with uh, name, hometown, and year in school, please. Hi, my name is Brecken and Trillo, and I'm from Lakewood, Colorado. Coach, we'll uh, send it to you. Name, and, and how many years you've been head coach there at Missouri Valley? Yeah, Ben Lister, uh, second year here at Missouri Valley College, so. Coach, um, tell us a little bit about Brecken and, and her importance to your program. Yeah, Brecken is actually a super senior. Um, it's a fun nickname we have around here. I'm sure everybody else probably says the same thing with the COVID year. Um, started for us last year. She was all conference honorable mention. Um, had a really, really solid season for us. Um, she's really close to potentially setting the school record for uh, assists in the career. So uh, plays really well at that position, has great leadership, and uh, really looking forward to watching her take another step forward this year and continue to help this program uh, try to take the next step into not just being a good team, but hopefully a team that's competing and, and, and having a chance to win the conference. Brecken, let's get to know you a little bit better. Um, what's your major and, and what are some career plans for, for after basketball? So I actually just graduated in uh, biology and now I'm getting another major in business management. So I'm really looking forward to being like a physician assistant in the medical field or an ultrasound technician. Very good. Um, Brecken, tell us about your basketball journey and, and, and how you found uh, Missouri Valley. Well, my first year I went to a D2 in Colorado and that was a bit of a rocky start. I didn't really play that much, but once I got into the transfer portal and everything, my first year here, Coach Scott recruited me and I was actually on JV my first year here, just trying to like learn the basic ropes of the school and everything. And then um, my second year, I was on varsity and I was a starter. And then I accidentally, I, I, well, I rolled my ankle and went through like surgery that season, but I played the whole season on that ankle. And then Coach Lister came in and I was all fully healed finally. And I um, was starting and it was just, it was just a really great senior year, well, COVID senior year. <laughs> You know, coach, um, you know, talk about year two now with the program. How excited are you and your squad and your coaching staff to get going this year? Well, I think there's a lot of energy around the program, um, not just from the players, but uh, from uh, you know people outside of the program, from the university as a whole. I mean, last year was our first winning season here since 13-14. Uh, so that was a big step forward for us. And, you know, we're blessed to have all five of our starters back this year. Uh, you know, including Gia, who was freshman of the year in the conference, and Anna, who was defensive player of the year. Um, and really our top six scores come back. So we've got a lot of positives in, in the leadership aspect and the experience aspect. Uh, but uh, just looking up and down the conference, a lot of teams are returning four and five starters. So that's going to be a strength for a lot of programs. Uh, hopefully it's something we can take advantage of. We also feel like, you know, uh, we brought in some some good young pieces and, and uh, they're really going to help our bench depth and you know, I feel like we've got a group that's got a chance to really take a step forward. Uh, it's very difficult to do that. It's, it's hard to win. It's even harder to win at a high level, um, you know, from past experience. But uh, definitely have a group that has the mindset that I think is where it needs to be in order for us to take that step. Coach, how is preseason going and, and what are some things you've liked from your team so far? Uh, you know, they really gelled well. Um, I think that uh, the chemistry is there. Um, I think the group cares about each other, uh, plays for each other, and uh, that's always a good thing to see early in the year. Got some bumps with some some injuries, uh, uh, probably a little bit more than I'm used to this time of the year. And some kids that are coming off some um, surgeries from over the summer, they're still working their way back. So. Uh, we haven't completely been the, the full complement of what I think we can be, uh, but it's given a lot of the younger kids opportunities to get more reps. Um, and that's going to be important for us moving forward anyway. Uh, I think our size is better this year. Um, I know we were, we were kind of a big team last year. I think we're going to have a, a better rotation at the five. And uh, I like to see that. And then, um, you know, we're always going to shoot the ball, Tyler, you know that. So uh, we've got some kids that can, can shoot on the perimeter coming back, um, some really good shooters, and we brought some shooters in as well. So should we be able to uh, continue to do that at a high level? You mentioned it, um, but you're returning the heart defense player of the year, the, the heart freshman of the year. 
talk about those two players and, and their importance to, you know, year two in your program and continuing to progress. Yeah, they had outstanding years last year. You know, Anna was a kid that went from uh, three points and two rebounds, uh, sophomore, sophomore, COVID sophomore, uh, to nine points, eight and a half rebounds, and 3.3 blocks a game. Uh, took a huge step forward. She shot 65% from the field. So she's, uh, she's continuing to get better. Uh, she's a great presence in the lane. Uh, she really allows you to do some things defensively and know that the rim is going to be protected. Um, you know, we encourage her to get stronger, uh, be a little bit more physical, which is not something she likes to do. Uh, but uh, she's trying to take that challenge on. And then Gia, you know, uh, probably had a better year than I even anticipated. I, I knew she should play a little bit and uh, could help us right away. But uh, she really um, scored the ball efficiently last year and, and showed her ability to score in all three levels. Uh, again, another kid that we're trying to get to work on. You know, maybe being a little bit better finisher, a little more aggressive, but having those two pieces and knowing that the one's a sophomore this year and one's a junior, you got them for a couple more years. It's a great feeling to have, and uh, we're really expecting big things out of them as well as everyone else. Brecken, you know, the heart is one of the most competitive conferences in the NAIA. Um, you know, what's it like from your perspective as a student athlete to to compete? You know, night in, night out in the heart. I feel like it's just a part of basketball. I I feel like um competing is just one of the major things that come with basketball and a lot of our team is very driven this year from all of the records we broke last year and everything like we're all determined to continue to break records and just to continue to basically prove everyone wrong that really doubted us in the past. Brecken, what are some goals um, for you this season on the floor but but also as a leader off the floor? Um, Probably to show the freshmen because a lot of the freshmen are kind of like hesitant right now and kind of scared of like what they do and where they go on defense so I'm trying to become that leader and show them where they can go and um, basically just that they're okay to make mistakes. And Brecken you know for fans that maybe haven't been to Missouri Valley um, for a game or, or visited campus uh, tell us a little bit about the, the Missouri Valley campus and the Marshall, Marshall community as a whole. I feel like the Marshall community is just all a family. I feel like we all have, we're all very loving here and our whole team very like gels very well together. Like Coach Lister said, our whole team, we haven't had any drama this year. It's just all been just that family vibe. That's very good. Coach you talked about a lot of returners that are back. What about maybe some newcomers that, that could help um, fill in some pieces for you? Yeah. Um... One is a familiar face, uh, Arielle Miller, who played for us uh, before I came. She actually sat out last year. Um, she's a uh, COVID super senior. She averaged 12 and 8 her last year here and was an all-conference honorable mention player as well. Um, she's, she's back this year to play and uh, seen some really good things out of her. I uh, really think that she's going to help us on the front, um, you know, just with some rotations and, and using her athleticism and her size. Um, transfer Maddie Ferrara, uh, I think is going to be a good player for us. Um, she can really score in multiple ways and uh, really like her versatility. Um, Reagan Brown, uh, I think is another player. She's an incoming freshman that I think is going to surprise some people. She's athletic and she can score, um, shoots the ball well, um, you know, set her school record for points in the game of 42 in her high school. Um, she just She's got a really good feel for the game. So those three, we've got some other kids, obviously, that uh, I think are going to step up and, and, and be contributors right away. So, uh, But those three in particular, I think, have shown some promise here early, and uh, we'll, we'll be kids that we're looking to rely on a little bit. And, Coach, as we as we wrap up here, last question for you. Um, we're asking all the head coaches the same question, but what, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Heart of America women's basketball? Depth. Uh, it's just a very deep league, uh, a lot of talented coaches, um, a lot of talented players, and it just continues to get better. I know every coach is probably going to say that, but uh, I, I just think when you look at the national tournament and the fact that we consistently have five teams in one of the, the larger conferences as far as the representation, just it speaks to the depth of the conference, and, and it's a challenge every single night in this league. Well, Coach Lister, uh, Brecken, we really appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck this season, and we look forward to seeing the Vikings as they get going here in a couple weeks. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you.